Uh, LinkedIn is a marketing arm for your brand. Okay. Um, who just said they're not looking for a job? Okay, that's fine. Currently. Uh, Barry Kleiman 101 is you're always interviewing. You, you have to operate what I think under a term of called consistent authenticity, which you want your brand to be your brand, right? And um, so again, before we get into any of the nuances of how to craft a profile and do all these things, I really want to talk about make, making sure that your message is what your message is and think it through before you get too active on LinkedIn. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Because it's a really important thing to understand, so I want to build some structure and help you understand some structure in your brain before you actually show it, share it with the world. These are a bunch of points, one, two, three, four, five, that I want to cover today. I'm not going to have time to do them in any particular sequence, but there are points that are important to me. The first point that's incredibly important to me is this one. Be honest. Don't lie. If you don't know something, you don't know something, it's an easy thing to say, right? Um, if you try to lie and your budget, <coughs> your brand depreciates like Coca-Cola, like anything else, very, very quickly. Um, so make sure that whatever your message is to the world, certainly on LinkedIn, but to the world at large, the conversations that you have, that you use the truth. And I like to tell people, you can write this down if you want, that the truth is a brand and the truth is a strategy. And if you use the truth as your brand and strategy, it's going to free you up from most of the world by orders of magnitude, which will wind up giving you an opportunity to stand out. I don't know if anybody came here because I wrote about standing out as opposed to blending in. Um, it'll give you an opportunity to stand out if you're authentic, if you're forthcoming, if you're humble, and so forth, okay? Um, so the truth is the most important thing that I want to talk to you here about today, so as you begin to craft your profiles, right, as you begin to put things down, make it clear and be honest about it. This, these are the two words that guide my entire business, clarity and optimization. I, I am a semi-retired headhunter who does executive coaching, founding a nonprofit for young people to help them figure out what's next and how to get it, um, called Fit Quarter Project. Um, but everything I talk about, I want to try to make sure we gain clarity about what it is you're trying to do, what it is are we trying to do with our LinkedIn profile, so to speak, but anything, and then optimize it. What I will talk with you about or send you slides about all, depending on how much time we have, is about how to optimize your profile and your messages moving forward and the connections that you make moving forward. Um, quick talk about connections. Um, connecting has such leverage. Uh, interacting, maybe not so much. So again, uh, um, it's important to connect because at the end of the day, everybody, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Well, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. You're in business, would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely, right. Um, and so to get a little bit more into LinkedIn um, with human nature, um, know, like, and trust, and sometimes love. People could actually wind up just you know, not necessarily loving you as, as, as significant others, but loving what you do and what your brand is and what you stand for and how you do it. So as far as getting into LinkedIn a little bit, this is too small to read, but that says resume. And there's a line through it. People are not going to love your resume. Okay, so as you think about your LinkedIn profile, yes, it's important to have your skills, but if your profile is just your resume, um, remember what I said a minute ago, LinkedIn is a marketing arm, and it's a marketing arm. Um, I wrote about it, I didn't have time to do it, but. Um, this is a picture of Times Square. <laughs> Should be in color. Uh, Times Square, uh, everybody knows Times Square, yeah? So it's this huge neon bulletin boards and it's one of the biggest advertising uh, 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 forums in, in the world, right? And it's a million and six dollars, $600,000 every day to advertise there. So um, you can, um, when you put your stuff up on LinkedIn, it has that kind of um, uh, a potential catch to it, you know? So you, it's a marketing arm is what, um, the Times Square billboards are, so is LinkedIn. So now what's your marketing message, right? What is your marketing message to, to the world? So if all you are is a resume, does anybody here think that they're their resume? 
hope not, right? <laughs> but that's what most people do. Okay. So now, you, to me, you've broken the number one marketing sin, which is being boring. You do not want to be boring. Everybody is less boring in different ways, but do yourself a favor. Before you go out and put your LinkedIn profile together, how are you going to find a way to stand out? If you guys want to write one thing down, and again, you don't have to. I'll send it to you. I use, I made this up. I'm proud of myself. I use something that's called the LinkedIn litmus test. I can't trademark it, but I did make it up. Um, so what's the LinkedIn litmus test? If you want to find out really where you stand in the world, <coughs> type whatever your title is into the search bar of LinkedIn and see how many other people have that same title. Okay. Um, if I put headhunter into LinkedIn, there's 76,002 last I checked. That was probably a week ago. Could be more or less, but you get the idea. If I put in executive recruiter, it's 48,441. If I put in executive search, there's 1,453,386 hits. A lot of competition, yeah. So then you come down to this question here. Where do you go? Why you? Right. Why you? Why me? Why would anybody choose to do business with me rather than any of the 1,452,386 people? This is a question that we all have to answer if we expect to stand out. I talk really, I talk really fast to everybody and I know it, so please tell me if anybody has any questions. Does it make sense? Yes, great, thank you. I love questions. So can you give an example of how it would stand out? Because there oh. are only so many available fields or things that you can do in LinkedIn. Like, so tell me what you think the limitations are. Sure, I'm, I'm glad um, to. So I work in consulting and I think there's this. Uh, what type of consulting? Healthcare consulting. And what do you do? I work with basically hospitals around the country to optimize their performance. In, in what? One way or in what? In what vein of optimization? Financial, well, marketing? Operations. Okay, operations. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a LinkedIn profile? I do. Okay. And um, do you post? <laughs> you ever post articles on op optimization in healthcare, or upcoming systems? Do I post my own articles or do Anything. I? Anything. I comment or like on some. 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 Do you have a plan to do it? Do, so, I have a plan? do you have a plan to comment on articles or once a week search through articles in your field and make comments about it and so forth and Not so forth? consistently. Yeah, so if I would go back to system, just a quick example, mm -hmm. if I would go back to systems, what I encourage people to do is on Sunday afternoons, or uh, whatever your downtime is, um, when you're not chasing kids to gyms and <laughs> things of that nature, um, have a plan and put aside some time and do a quick Google search. I mean, technology can really help us, right? So do a quick Google search of whatever it is that you think you want to be commenting on, right? So that so it's more the consistency of what you do. There is no one-shot deal here. That's why I said, so the truth is a brand, the truth is a strategy. You know, you have to have a brand, you have to have a strategy for how you're going to do all this, right? And then live with your strategy and do it. Uh, again, there, the, the worst thing you could do is nothing, in my opinion. Well, I shouldn't say that. You can do nothing, but you're going to wind up blending in because of the, com the commas attached to your field of endeavor. 